Okay, here we're going to take the derivative of x to the x. Um, you'll see um, this one, definitely, it's kind of a tricky one. Um, and you'll see, uh, you'll see problems just like it. Before you do this, you need to know how to do logarithmic differentiation. So I'm going to just assume you already know how to do logarithmic differentiation, and we're going to just jab at this thing, okay? So d, dx of x to the x, think just um, go back to basics here, that is y equals x to the x. That's the function that we want the derivative of, okay? Um, so what we'll do is we'll take the natural log of both sides. So we'll take natural log of y equals natural log of x to the x. And remember my power rule on um, exponents. I can just take the exponent and stick it out in front, right? So that's what I'm going to do. And we're like natural log of y. And so I'm just going to rewrite it like that, okay? All right, now what to do next? Okay, I'm going to do, there's a couple things I'm going to have to do, okay? I, I need to differentiate both sides. I think I'm ready to do that. And remember, we're, it looks like we're going to have to use a product rule here. So that's F prime plus regular G times g prime times regular f. So um, that's what we're going to use over there. And we're going to use, let's see, we're going to have to take the derivative of uh, log of y, which is 1 over y. And let's see, we're also going to have, we're, we can't differentiate with respect to y. So we got to also, let's go, let's take, um, the derivative of y with respect to x, that's our, our chain rule. Um, I'm, I'm also assuming you know um, implicit differentiation. Um, so you're gonna need to know how to do that to do this too. Um, now we're just, let's go back and use our chain rule. F prime, that's one times regular g. Um, that's just regular log of x, natural log of x. G prime, that is one over x and times regular x. Um, this right here is going to go to 1. Um, let's see here, let's rewrite this. Of 1 over y equals natural log x plus 1. Um, let's divide by 1 over y. Um, that's y. Um, we divide by both sides by 1 over y to solve for dy dx, and that is actually going to give us dy dx equals y times natural log of x plus 1. And if we remember back at the beginning, y was equal to x to the x, so Let's just go ahead and say x to the x times natural log of x plus 1. That is the derivative. Um, and that's using implicit differentiation and logarithmic differentiation. Okay, so let's just go back through this again. We, we ended up, um, we wanted the derivative of x to the x. So look, we went back to basics and just said, okay, here's the function. This is the function that I want the rate of change of. Um, and I just took the log of both sides. Then I used my power rule to stick the x in front. And then I took the derivative of both sides. Okay, uh, I differentiated both sides. Um, natural log, derivative of natural log of something is one over something times that something, you know, using your chain rule. And um, since we took uh, the derivative of y um, with respect to x, we just, we just wrote it, okay? And the other ones we can differentiate directly, and any variable x we can directly um, take derivatives of it, and 
we ended up with, um, you know, you, having to use the product rule on that side, and we ended up with a uh, natural log of x plus 1. And then we, uh, we wanted to solve for the derivative. Okay, we wanted to know dy dx, which, you know, derivative y with respect to x. So, and we did that here. We solved for that. And we divided both sides by 1 over y. We did that. And then uh, simplified it. Yada, yada. Bada bing, bada boom. So there you go. Um, let's, uh, actually, you know, let's, let's do, actually, let's do another one real quick. Let's go y equals x to the x plus 1. Okay, same deal. Okay, um, we want to find the derivative of this. So let's just go and um, take the natural log of both sides. Okay, um, that's what we did. Now, just same thing, the power rule. This quantity can go in front of the log. So we get natural log y equals x plus 1 natural log of x. So there we are. Um, now let's differentiate both sides. We're going to take the derivative of both sides, which is 1 over y dy dx. And let's see, we'll, take, we'll have to use the product rule again. This is a product, x plus 1 times natural log of x. So that's derivative of f plus regular g times derivative of g and regular f. I, I, I always write this down just about every time I do it. So, just so you know, things go good. Well, derivative of this is going to be 1. Um, regular g is still natural log of x plus derivative of g. And, you know, this is basically g. Um, you know that. And um, regular f is um, x plus 1. All right, so we got that. So let's simplify this a little more. Uh, dy dx equals, you know, divide both sides by 1 over y, and you get y again. Um, multiply by natural log x time, or plus x plus 1 over x. Okay, so there we are. Um, let's see what else we can do here. We can simplify this a little more. This will this will end up being equal to x over x plus one over x. Okay, that's what that's going to be. And then this is just going to go to one. So we can we could go ahead and say that. And remember, y. What's y equal to? X to the x plus one. So we'll go ahead and do this. And then we'll go ln x plus 1 plus 1 over x. Okay, and there we are, just like that. So, um, you know, it's kind of up to you. Get with your professor, find out what type of simplification they want on that. You know, it, de it depends. There's, I mean, there, it's all the right answer, but, you know, just make sure you uh, are leaving it in the, in the form just like they want. So, rock and roll.